welcome to the channel this is Matt cam 89 and today i'm going to be showing you all of my thrifts thrift finds for my playstation collection now i don't have uh, a ton of them so i'm going to combine them ps3 and playstation 2 so far in this year i haven't found any ps1 games at the location that i go to so this will only include ps2 and ps3 games uh, so we'll get into it and I like to to do these just to show that, you know, there's still a good variety that you can find out, out in these thrift stores. Um, just putting all the Madden titles together. So I normally do not buy uh, sports titles unless it's something um, a little bit out of the ordinary, like uh, NFL Blitz or NHL Hits, things of that variety. Um... NFL street type games, although I haven't found any of those yet. Although if I find, if I do run into one of those, I'll probably pick that up. But I had done a $60 challenge with my wife where we had to get each other $60 worth of a mystery box of things that we enjoyed. So, you know, she, she gave an idea of the type of things that she likes. And then I also gave her uh, some gaming stuff that I like and what I'm specifically looking for. I probably should have been more specific in saying those sports titles because um, not every game, but a good portion of that box ended up being sports titles and she just didn't know. So nothing against her. She did have some good games in there as well. But anyways, let's get started. This is my PS3 and PS2 collection that has only been found through thrifting. So they've been found at a local savers or uh, equivalent type thrift store. So the first game up is Madden 08. And I'm going to go quick on these uh, just because you, you have an idea of what these are already. Next one is Madden 12. I actually played Madden 12 not that uh, long ago to capture some footage. And I don't know what it is, but the graphics are horrible. I don't know if it's they just didn't do a good port on the PS3, but it, very blurry. Just uh, not what I was expecting. Next one is Madden 25. Now, I had originally uh, played this on the PlayStation 4 at the time. I never actually owned this version of it during that time. Now, this is actually a pretty good game, a game that I really enjoyed, and I may actually play through it again, maybe on a live stream, and that is L.A. Noir. Um, great mystery type game, if you like these types of games. There's not many out there that are kind of like this, so it's a very unique title. Um, probably will not ever see... Um, Another game like this. Now, this one is actually pretty cool because it is complete in box. It does have the manual, the game. It does have some DLC codes, which I tried redeeming them, but they were already redeemed. But it didn't end up mattering because I actually owned this version at one point. So I actually had all the downloads already. But it also came with like this film. So it's pretty cool. Supposed to be like film of the crime scenes and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool to find at a thrift store. And great condition. The disc is nice and clean. Um, and I think for $4.99. I know you can play this. There's better versions of it now. Remastered versions and whatnot. But I, I, I think for $4.99 it's a great addition to the collection. Alright next up is Guitar Hero Aerosmith. Now, these games at one point were extremely hot, and then they cooled off to the point where they were really hard to get rid of. And now they've kind of uh, reemerged as something that people actually want to get. So I did pick this up for $6.99. I think, honestly, um, I'm probably not going to play this, so it, it'll eventually be up on my eBay store for somebody else to enjoy. Next game up is 
also a great game this is one of the few games that i like to play through every once in a while and that is batman arkham city i think all the arkham games are great i actually really enjoy origins as well i know people like to hate on it but i think all the batman games are great as far as this series goes you don't stand a chance against us Your mother won't recognize you when we're finished with you. Uh, $3.99. I believe this is one of the games that my wife got me. So, great stuff. Next game up is Star Wars Force Unleashed. I have not played this game. And $4.99, I actually did want to play this. I think I have this also for the Xbox 360. And I do not have the second one. This feels kind of heavy, so it's pro it is complete in box. So comes with the disc and manual, also in great condition. Yeah, I know. I, this year, man, I've made out really good thrifting, especially at the location that I go to. Uh, I almost want to do a series where I just have, just can only play games that I picked up, pick up via thrifting. And uh, can't go on to the next game until I beat it. The game that I picked up. I think that'd be a, a kind of cool series to do. And you'd be surprised. You know, you get some great games. I think my PS2 collection here is uh, some pretty decent titles. And the next game up is a game I showed on my thrifting video. That is Soul Calibur 2 for $7.99. It is complete in box. And also the disc is very clean. One fight. <laughs> And like I was mentioning, uh, I don't normally buy sports titles, but this one caught my eye. That's MLB Slugfest. Uh, seems to be more of an arcade type game in which, you know, it's like akin to NHL hits or NFL blitz, things like that. So it's a more arcadey style. I like baseball. The smash to second. Fires to first. He got him. I like baseball games, but I don't play too many retro baseball games. I mentioned in another video, I, I basically play uh, Ken Griffey Jr. baseball for the Super Nintendo. And then if I play another baseball game, it's whatever the modern iteration is of M MLB the show. Uh, next game for the PlayStation 2 is Tekken Tag Tournament for $9.99. This is also complete in box. Disc is in great shape. So far, I've uh, been able to pick up two great fighting games. And next up is Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. And that's for four ninety nine. This This actually got me excited because it's two-player. So you can do the campaign with another player. So I'm going to try to get my daughter to play this with me at some point and uh, see if we can beat the campaign together. And next up is MLB The Show 09 for $1.99. You know, if that's the only thing that you could find in... You had a buck ninety nine. Hey, it's a it's a good deal still. Still a baseball game and uh, still a still a good one. Uh, the next couple games are going to be sports titles. They are, were all part of that mystery box that I did with my wife. Uh, it is FIFA Soccer two thousand four. I actually really enjoy FIFA games. I mentioned in another video that my favorite one is the South Africa one, the World Cup. Uh, for some nostalgia reasons, I won't I won't go over that again. I want to keep rehashing the same memories over and over again. 
The next game up is a great football series. That is NFL 2K3. It's a real shame what EA did. Couldn't compete, so they bought out the competition, basically. Or at least preventing them from being able to compete. And next up is a game that I actually recently completed. And it is Medal of Honor Rising Sun. For $2.99, it is complete in box. Uh, case, manual, and game is in great condition. Um, can play it also two-player campaign. I started playing it uh, the Xbox version with my daughter. Uh, we were having a good time. The Xbox version is a better version. So, you know, I did complete it on PS2 recently, but I'm actually going to replay it on the Xbox because it is, a, it is a, a more enjoyable experience. And the last game that I got, thrifting for at least this year anyways. The year's not over, so who knows, I'll probably add a little bit more to this collection. And maybe I'll do an end of year recap for everything that I got for the entire year. And the last game is Hunter, The Reckoning. And for $2.99 it is complete in box. This is in great shape as well as the manual. I did play a little bit of it. I don't really have an opinion of it yet. I think I got to give it a little bit more of a try. This is uh, also a game that can be played in co-op, two-player, at least the PS2 version. Um, I don't know if there's an Xbox version. Maybe it allows four players um, to be able to play at the same time. But at least in this one, it is two players. I'll have to give it another shot. But that's everything that I've gotten thrifting this so far this year. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the comments that are starting to come through. I'm having a good time responding to those. Uh, and as always, God bless.